lose four to nothing to the Montreal Canadiens when you can't score a goal past a crappy goalie and Jake Allen. There's some problems, but tonight the main problems are the p power play was horrendous and the team had zero effort in tonight's action. That's how it was. Jackson Stahlberg making his fourth appearance for the Blackhawks ends up getting his fourth, uh, first loss of his career. This was a rough game by the Blackhawks. They did not have any form of effort out on the ice. And a couple injuries occurred during the game. Um, Jared Tenorti, who made his return back to the lineup just a couple nights ago to, against the Jets, gets injured with an ankle injury, it appears. And then Jason Dickinson, blocking a shot on a PK, um, got injured but came back into play. Then Jackson Stahlberg also got injured after a goal went in but stayed in the game for the remainder of the night. This was a rough game by the Hawks. Losing 4-0 to the Montreal Canadiens was not called for. This was a bad game. When you're playing a team that's not good, frankly they aren't, and you lose this way, it's not fun. This was a bad effort. The Hawks had zero effort given. Now they have to play Toronto tomorrow night in Toronto. That's going to be a tough game to get back into because you're playing against a higher caliber team. One that I still don't think wins the Stanley Cup, granted. But you're playing a team that has Stanley Cup aspirations. The Hawks don't. They're a tanking team. So it's going to be a rough game. So let's get into the game, shall we? Uh, Hawks were outshot 31-22 to in this one per period. Uh, it was 6-6 six six in the first, 7-13 for the Canadians in the second, 9-12 for the Canadians in the third. Hawks were just horrendous. Face-off percentage, Hawks were terrible because they lost at the dot 48% to the Canadians, uh, 52%. Power play, 0-4 on the power play with a 5-on-3 power play for a minute and 5 seconds. Do not get a single shot on net. Where the Canadians went one for three, being their first goal of the night, getting their game-winning goal, basically. So let's get into the goals of the game, shall we? Since they're all Montreal. In the first period of play, it was a lot of back-and-forth hockey. It was six to six on the shots. Hawks had a power play. Doesn't do anything with it. Canadians get a power play, and they capitalize at 8.38 in the first period. Um, uh, Barron scores his second of the season, assisted by Duran and Dodonov to make it one nothing Montreal. This shot from the point, Stahlberg could not see the shot. It leads to a goal against. Hawks down one nothing midway through the first period of play. Hawks tried to answer. They did, but the goal gets waved off because after the CU went on a breakaway, Deeks Jake Allen out of his pads, and after the CU skates into the net, knocking the net off its moorings before the puck crosses the uh, line, so no goal. So we go to the second period of play. Jackson Stahlberg stands on his head in the second period where Montreal was buzzing and the Hawks had nothing. Stahlberg stood strong, making some big saves. This was when the Hawks actually had their... Uh, five on three power play that they did nothing with, and frankly, it's this a lot of the same. We go to the uh, third period, Hawks down by a goal, and Montreal knows the Hawks are done, so they come out with uh, attack, get an early power play, Hawks kill it off at 5:45 in the uh third period, Joel. Um, Armia scores his fourth of this uh, season, assisted by Duran and um, Dvorak, to make it a 2 nothing game for Montreal. At that point, I basically said the Hawks are going to get shut out and lose this game because they have no shots that are worth anything against Montreal in this game. And then five minutes later, at 10.53 in the third period, David Safard scores his second of the season, and... It was just uh, 
shot off after um, Max Domi gets hit and leads to a goal against. It's 3-0 Montreal. Hawks can't clear the zone, leads to a goal against. Again, a few, uh, let's say a minute later at 11.45, Christian Dvorak scores his ninth of the season, assisted by Joel Armia and uh, Jaren to make it a 4-0 game. Hawks have no attack getting out of the zone. They were terrible in the third period, terrible in this entire game. They could not get anything going, and it led to the team just collapsing on themselves. And so they go to Toronto tomorrow night, and hopefully they wake up because that was a rough game to watch. So thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, the tank is on and let's go hot.